this morning, reports of unauthorized men in military uniforms taking over an oil tanker in the Gulf of Oman. No confirmation yet who's boarded the ship. A private intelligence firm saying they covered the security cameras and that unknown voices were heard over the phone alongside the ship's captain. This is just the latest attack on commercial shipping vessels in the region since the war began. There have been dozens of attacks, primarily from Houthi rebels in Yemen. Happening right now, a major United Nations court hearing is underway on allegations against Israel that the Jewish state is committing genocide against Palestinians. South Africa asking the International Court of Justice to order Israel to immediately halt the war in Gaza. It's being accused of uh, systemically killing Palestinians. While you were sleeping, protesters gathered outside The Hague in, Nether in the Netherlands before the hearing started. Meanwhile, intelligence officials reportedly warning uh, Politico that Hezbollah Another terror organization may be planning attacks on Americans overseas and here at home. Robert Sherman is live in Tel Aviv with the latest. Robert. And I have to tell you that everybody's watching what's going on in The Hague today very intently. We've walked past a few television screens where you see Israelis huddled around watching all of this play out, listening to the words that are being said here. This is something that everybody is very well aware of, what is going on in The Hague as these Israelis defend their position in court. This is something that we've seen throughout the day in the Netherlands, protests breaking out in The Hague, not just in favor of the Israelis, but also in favor of the Palestinians as well. South Africa alleging that Israel is committing genocide in the Gaza Strip as it carries out its war. The official definition of genocide is killings, quote, committed with intent to destroy in whole or in part a national, ethnical, racial, or religious group. South Africa contending that the Israelis want to destroy large portions of the Palestinian population. But that is something that since October 7th, the Israelis have strongly refuted. This is what Tal Heinrich with the prime minister's office had to say. Take a listen. What South Africa is doing, it's, it, they're pushing a blood libel against Israel. They stand against us even when we are the victims. South Africa was pushing this kind of, you know, from October 8th. We will make our case in court. But it's a, it's, it's a vile accusation, and actually, they're blowing the wind in Hamas's sail. Then in the background of all of this, you have growing tensions in the Middle East as Israel and Hezbollah and Lebanon continue to trade blows. A new report out from Politico says U.S. intel officials are concerned that the group will strike at U.S. personnel here in the Middle East or possibly back in the United States. Throughout the week, we've seen Hezbollah carrying out attacks against Israeli positions in northern Israel. That includes rocket attacks, missile attacks, drone incursions as well. The Israelis have been making their point very clear over the last couple of weeks. They do not want a war with Hezbollah, but they are prepared to respond decisively. Adrian. All right. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.